What's up guys? We finally got the release date for Rocket League. It's a game that I, I really like. I, I've already bought it twice on the PC and the PS4 and now it's coming to the Switch so it's going to be our first time of actually having it officially portable. I guess you could play it on laptops. I've tried. It doesn't go over as well unless it's plugged in which kind of defeats the purpose of being portable. And then I haven't tried it as much on the GPD Win, but I have a feeling that could at least kind of run it. So here we are now with the Nintendo Switch version and it's coming out at a time that I myself and others on the Spawncast recently said they shouldn't release it and that's going to be coming out in that window in November. To me, November 14th is when Rocket League's launching on the eShop at $19.99, which means, yes, there is going to be this long span where all these games come out. It's going to be from November 7th and the 17th. We're going to have several games released in this window, starting with Sonic Forces. Then you have, of course, Ellie Noir. Doom, Rhyme, <laughs> Rocket League, and Skyrim, and then there are a few indie games that I'm sure will be announced leading up to it, and it's going to get kind of out of control, especially if you are looking more along the lines of trying to buy everything, and then you have other games outside of the Switch, things like Call of Duty, Battlefront 2, Need for Speed, the list kind of goes on. There is a lot of stuff in November, and I, I feel like I kind of would have liked to have seen Rocket League push to December. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like that it's coming out sooner than later. It's coming out in about two in two weeks. So they announced it two weeks uh, uh, really ahead of its release. And then, of course, Resident Evil comes out at the end of the month. And then, if you really want to count it, because it's technically the first of December, so it's not like it's that much later, uh, Xenoblade comes out. So Switch owners have gone from the original thought of, well, there's not much to play on the Switch, to now there's just too many games coming out for most people to keep up with. I, when we did Spawncast recently, I saw people ask, should I get Doom or Skyrim? Because I, I got to pick one because, of course, I want to get something maybe like Sonic Forces or I want to get Resident Evil at the end of the month, and these are the two I'm deciding between. So it's, it's getting to that point where people are going to have to pick and choose which games they get now and which ones they hold off on. Now, Nintendo and Sionix released a trailer that kind of showed a lot of the work that they're doing on Rocket League and then uh, really just kind of explained the process. It was a really cool trailer. It's worth checking out. But here we are, guys. November 14th, Rocket League is releasing on Nintendo Switch eShop 1999. I am very excited. I'll be buying it day one, obviously, because I love Rocket League. And it's going to be very interesting to have that game portably. And now it's able to... Follow me around. Great. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. A very quick update for you. I was just, I was so excited to get this information and tomorrow's news wave is going to be pretty packed, like really packed. So I had to take something out and kind of put it into this. So there you go. You get the release date for Rocket League and a news wave extra. Um, but thanks guys for watching. Let me know down in the comments what you might have to hold off on and what you're going to get absolutely. Because maybe there's a game that you, well, you have to let it go for now and then come back to it later, especially with those big three games kind of just <laughs> so close together, you know, Doom, Eleanor, Skyrim, and then some others sprinkled in there. So let me know, guys, down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Check out Newswave tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. Eastern Time. We'll go over the Nintendo numbers, the UK charts, and the definitely the Sony Paris week that they did for games because there were some, there was some good stuff really in that presentation. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. for Newswave.